In this video, I'm going to walk you through GNOME Keering, the default password and secret manager built into many Linux distributions. It's specifically designed to store credentials like SSH keys, GPG keys, and network secrets securely within the Linux environment. I've been using it on my Ubuntu machine for the last few months, and there's a lot to talk about, both good and bad. When you first boot into a GNOME-based Linux distro, GNOME Keering is already there, silently managing your secrets in the background. It integrates tightly with the GNOME desktop and many apps, so when you enter a password, it automatically offers to save it. One of the great things is how it hooks into Network Manager to remember Wi-Fi credentials or your VPN setup. You don't have to manage passwords manually, they just sync into your keyring. The design is extremely minimal, and that's a double-edged sword. On one hand, it's light on system resources and blends well into the system. On the other hand, the interface for managing your keyrings is pretty outdated and not user-friendly. It lacks the polish you'd expect for modern password managers, and there's no standalone GUI unless you install additional tools, like Seahorse. That extra step might confuse beginners, who just want to access or delete an entry. Also, it's worth noting that GNOME Keyring depends on your login password to unlock the default Keyring. If your system is set to auto-login, or if you manually lock the Keyring, you might run into constant password prompts. This can get annoying, especially when dealing with apps like Git that require frequent credential access. Did you know people waste so much time just resetting passwords? I used to be one of them, until I found Locker.io, and now I don't even think about it. This and many other useful links you can find in the description. Now, in terms of security, GNOME Keyring uses encryption to store your secrets, and it relies on PAM to unlock the Keyring at login. This makes it secure for local usage, but it lacks any sort of cross-device sync or mobile app. So if you're looking for a cloud-based manager that works across platforms, this won't be for you. That said, for developers or sysadmins who stay within the Linux ecosystem, it's actually quite effective. I've had a few bugs where Keyrings didn't unlock properly, or where saved credentials just disappeared after a session crash. It's not super common, but it's frustrating when it happens. The community support is also pretty niche. You'll mostly find answers on forums or GitHub issues rather than official support. Overall, GNOME Keyring is decent if you want a free, open source solution that integrates directly into your Linux environment. It's bare bones, but if you don't need all the fancy features of cloud-based managers, it might just do the job. Still, I wouldn't recommend it for users looking for cross-platform access, browser integration, or modern UI features. Thanks for watching. If you found this review helpful, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more honest software reviews like this one.